1 Timothy 6, 6 through 10, not keeping up with the Joneses, and keeping my stained clothes. But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothes, with these we will be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. The King James Version says of all evil. It is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs. Now, this isn't just for people who want to be rich, although just about everybody wants to be rich because how excited do people get when they win the lottery, when they think about being rich? They get very excited. They don't get that excited about the Lord. So this applies to everyone. But I'm not even referring to people who openly know that they want to be rich. But rather, I'm talking about people who somebody points out to them, why are, they, are you wearing a shirt that has a hole in it? Or those pants have a little stain on it. Why are you, why is that, you're using last year's coffee maker or yet last year's clothes. And you go out and buy stuff that you don't need to impress people that you really don't care about or that don't matter. And you could have taken that same money and saved a human life. Too many people claim that they don't have enough money to help the poor. And what they're doing is shooting themselves in the foot because they're buying a bunch of stuff they don't need. With $39, you can save a human life by sponsoring a child in a third world country who literally cannot get access to enough calories. You can save a human life and you can save your life. But you, many people, and I know I say you, beautiful person who's, who's watching, but it may very well, this may very well may apply to you. You're more concerned about what other people think about your clothes. And so you go out and you spend all this money on stuff you don't need. You claim you don't have money to help the poor. You're not willing to make sacrifices. You're worried about things that don't matter, like yo, the stain on your shirt. Okay. Or a little hole in your pants. And you go out and buy stuff that you really don't need. When that money could save a human life. I'm here to tell you, God has made me sacrificially pay tithes and offerings and make sure they go to, to the poor. And it has saved my life. The blessings that I've received as a targeted individual, that's what a TI is. This program is not the serious. And it's because God is a force field about me and he shows me from all of this to where it doesn't overwhelm me or it's not enough to get me upset. But that's because God has made me make sacrifices. What I've done unto the least of his people, I've done unto him. Because the Lord has made me to save other people's lives by sponsoring them in the third world and then sending money directly to them where they get the parents of the sponsored child get to spend it as they best see fit. I have done that unto Jesus. And the blessings I've received are, are infinitely valuable. You should do so as well, beautiful born-again believer and or TI. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof, and God bless.